right? Driver here to get rid of my scrappy boots. That's pretty much the story of a scrapper. Drive around, well, for me, drive around and collect at the curbside, mostly. Unless I have a contact calling me. And then, accumulate, load, haul to the scrapyard, and then repeat. This roadway always, always leaves something to be desired. Pretty rugged. That's every scrapyard. It's either pot hill, water filled, or dry and dusty. And since winter time is, uh, winter around here is basically all wet. From like, December 1st till about April 1st. Well, they're starting to accumulate quite a good pile there. Wow, look at the size of that electric motor. Huge! Like, quite a bit of auto cast. As usual, they're hoarding quite a bit of iron. Well, he found a brass bed. Go to the scrap yard, it's either super dry or. <clears throat> Money is not. Scrapyard, you have to declare that anything that's uh, refrigerated has to you have to go into office and declare that it doesn't work anymore. Uh, it's getting hard out there to be a pimp. This yard inspector. He's pretty strict. So I usually try and swap stuff right over there by the corners. Like, dude, it's your fault for standing by the truck. I don't want to get hit, don't stand by the truck. Smaller scrappy bits here. Here's a toe smasher right here.
Coast Master 2000. Yeah, this guy that's working right now, he will ding you for plastic sometimes. Depends on the mood. Depends on the mood. <laughs> One piece I got the other day, right? <laughs> Out of all the scrap yards, this is probably one of the more industrial ones. Because they shred the material here. Get that cord. I will if I get a chance. Sometimes they get bent out of shape when you start when you start taking stuff apart. Left that on there. It's stuff like this that I could sell as breakage sometimes, depending on who's working. I can't always count it. Depends on which guy is working the scale. They'll say, well, that's too much iron. While the other guy will completely accept it. That's kind of rough when you have to work around stuff like that. Where you can't really count on it. So I'm going to try and... Uh, Scoop my uh, little bits off that refrigerator. The old man is faster than I am. He can't be on both the wagon and the pickup truck. Faster than me. What the heck? Watch out for yard equipment. Look at these people come from, they come from Chicago even. That's far, that's how far away some of these scrap yards, the small ones will travel to this place. Ain't that amazing? With that, with that really clapped out looking Freightliner. Like, how does that thing not get pulled over by the state police? You know, for various, I don't know, whatever picky little violations they're always pulling over 
I seen a brand new Volvo pulled over by two state troopers over there. Like, what could possibly be wrong with the equipment on that? And it, and it was a bobtail, it wasn't pulling a trailer or anything. There's no way that rig traveled all the little side streets to get out here. I go to this yard every every now and then. <coughs> like if it's worthwhile to go the extra distance, I'll go here. Right now they're paying 140. So out of that load that I loaded up, it was 100. $103. Fantastic. 103 bucks. <laughs> Not much. Alright. 